I just got back from Detroit, Michigan, where I got to see the new Hummer EV, uh, the next generation 2021 uh, Bolt EV, eight other vehicles that GM is working on, including a couple of amazing Cadillacs, including the Escalade, uh, but also got to talk to, uh, uh, so, so I'm gonna put out a few videos about this. Today I'm gonna concentrate on Hummer EV, though I'll tell you about my entire trip also as well, so don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you already have them, don't forget to click on the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything moving forward all right so um now as you guys know that you know this is the image that we've all seen uh, they've advertised this during the uh, super bowl um now uh i saw it in person and uh none of the media none of the media there were allowed to take any pictures or videos but I think I can describe it in a in a way how you can actually have a pretty good visual in your head about what the Hummer looks like. And I think I can do the same thing with a, with a Bolt EV as well. I'll, I'll try it in a second also. Uh, the other cars, you know, like Buicks that they put it out of, they, they all look very, very nice. Like it was a Hyundai if you, for, you know, saw it from far, far away, didn't see the Buick logo. They had a couple of amazingly designed uh, Cadillacs. Um, so, but, but, but those like, you know, they, they gave us no videos, no pictures of their own either. Like, this is all they gave us. <laughs> Okay, that's nothing. Um, all right, so um, they did present all these 10 cars to us and it was amazing. I don't know why uh, they, they didn't want us to videotape anything, uh, but they will be unveiling this as one by one as, as their own sort of unveiling events. Um, now, one thing I got to tell you that I really enjoyed was talking to Mary Barak, who's the current uh, General Motors CEO. Uh, you know, at first when she was talking to us as a group of journalists, she, she was kind of reading off a of teleprompter and I didn't really get, I was like, well, I mean, is, is she really, or is she really into it? Or is she just reading it, whatever. But once I got to talk to her in person, I kind of got to see that her heart is in it, which is important, right? This is why I like going out there, uh, seeing what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, we also visited a factory, by the way, I'll tell you about it in a second too. Uh, but also to see, you know, is there heart there? Are people who are working on a factory, are they into making these new electric cars? You know what I mean? So I thought that was important. I mean, half of our conversation was about the Detroit Red Wings, which is my my favorite hockey team and I've been to California all this time it's my first visit to Detroit so they all so organized for me to do uh, to, to look at the uh, at the uh, behind the scenes of the arena that they just built so and she's a fan and her son plays hockey. so it was, it was it was it was it was really a cool conversation but we did talk about electric cars and um, you know I, I kind of form an opinion that that she is kind of she really wants to make it happen but as she was talking to me and other journalists that that, that that were there like you could see that there are a lot of times you know they're a public related company that she can maybe say everything she wants to say um which is understandable but i wish i wish i could get so 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 much more out of her maybe someday we'll do a sit down interview but for now i just can tell you guys that my conversation with her went, went, went very well now as you guys know that this uh, was a commercial that they put out at the uh, Super Bowl, uh, which is uh, amazing. You know, this was what, third company who dedicated their entire Super Bowl commercial to uh, an electric car. On top of that, this is a Hummer. Uh, LeBron James uh, was in the commercial and I'm hoping he's gonna be the, uh, uh, the spokesperson at some point if you already haven't. But um, you know, the, the, the Hummer is a big deal because like, a gas guzzling, the symbol of gas guzzling cars is now the opposite of that, right? So, uh, let me see if I can kind of describe what what this, uh, what this the what the Hummer looks like. And I think I can do a good job. Now, you know what the Hummer looks like, right? Where do I have a Hummer? Right, right there, right? You see, I have a little Hummer right here. So, you know, you all know what it looked like. Now, think about if, 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 that, if that car got smashed into by a Honda Ridgeline, but not the latest one, like this one, like from 2008, I think this one. Um, and they and then they had a baby, okay? So the back, look at the back of this car and think of the front of the Hummer. So if you kind of merge, merge those two, you will see what the Hummer pickup uh, truck looks like. Um, also, they will have an SUV version, right? Like, it's kind of like Rivian. That's what Rivian did as well, right? And it's a pretty big car. I mean, I think they're 35, you know, inch wheels on it. It looks really big and rugged. Um, but let me say this, and this is my opinion that as I've been flying back and been thinking about this, listen to this. I think the Hummer EV is boring enough to outsell the Cybertruck. Okay, let me, read a bit. Uh, let me, let me repeat it again. I think that the Hummer EV is boring enough 
to outsell the Cybertruck, right? I think Cybertruck, you know, a lot of Tesla fans are gonna buy it, a lot of people who are like into futuristic stuff, but people who want to buy a car from a company who's baking pickup truck for, for decades, the company that they, they trust to make their pickup truck, the, the, the pickup truck that looks like a pickup truck, and then it has a name of a Hummer, I think that's what it will take for GM to outsell Cybertruck, and I think they can do it. Of course, we're gonna see what the price uh, is like, and you know, price is obviously important. Um, and you know, don't forget, if you're watching this and you live in a bubble of Silicon Valley, I mean, you don't have to physically live there to be in a bubble, but if you're in a Silicon Valley bubble that, that I was in for many years, you have to understand, like visiting Detroit or living here in Sacramento, Driving a Tesla is not a cool thing to do like it is in Silicon Valley. You know, driving a Ford or GM or driving obviously a pickup truck is a thing. So when 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 Tesla makes a Cybertruck that looks like that, a lot of people almost say, well, see, I knew it. That that company is not for me. But when the GM makes a Hummer, I I think they will turn around and say, yeah. Yeah, I already bought from them before and I trust them to to make it. By the way, inside it looks pretty cool too. Like imagine, um, have you ever been to a car show and they kind of pimped up the truck in the inside and out? Kind of put technology, but still kind of make it really rugged and nice. That's what Hummer looks like inside. So we got to we got to see what it looks like inside. So uh, they will be unveiling it, I believe, in May, and uh, I'm hoping to be there. But uh, that is uh, that is what I can report to you guys. Now let's talk about the Chevy Bolt EV because the, for the next year they redesigned it. It's very much redesigned, and they're going to have a longer base version. Uh, it's kind of a, like almost a tiny little crossover as well. Kind of looks the same, but it's just a longer uh, wheelbase. Uh, before that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Check out their all-electric uh, SUV called M Byte. Come into the SUV Europe. Absolutely no money buying, uh, no money down to reserve one. So go to the description of this video and reserve your Byton today. And by Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. Use E4 Electric as a discount code when you're buying something there over $100, which is pretty easy to do. Uh, and you'll get your discount. So check them out at evanex.com. All right, so let's talk about the Bolt EV. Now, I, I don't hide the fact that I'm not really a big fan of a Bolt EV. I think it's got a great technology inside, great interface, but I just do, I just, to me, it looks like a compliance car, and I was excited when they kind of showed us the 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 the, the new cars, the old ten of them. Now I'm gonna tell you, I only was able to see the front of both bolts, uh, the the regular, the second generation EV, and the uh, the the long base uh, crossover. Um, you know, and they, they did a great job designing the new front that's really good looking. I, I like it, right? Like, think about like um, what uh, what Prius has done, that Toyota's done with their Prius redesign, right? The front end is pretty good looking, but the back still kind of looks like an old Prius, right? Kind of same thing here. They also keep the, kept the shape the same. And I really, especially from the from the from the side, you can definitely see that it is a it is definitely a bolt. So, um, you know, I'm excited that they're behind this and they're creating a new generation and it does look a little bit better. Uh, by the way, they've completely redesigned the seats. Those people who complain about the seats are gonna be very happy with it. Uh, bigger bigger monitor also. And I would say that overall, it feels like a, a, a well, better put together car. Like their dashboards got like a better materials that they used. Um, so, Kudos to them for redesigning it. I know there's a market for them. I think they sold over 100,000 of them already. Uh, but I really wish they would have redesigned it something that, that looked more like a, a more appealing electric car. So uh, now I also got to uh, visit the factory where they just uh, um, actually produce bolts among uh, with many other cars. As you can see, it's pretty futuristic, just like Tesla's where they, um, you know, all these cars are going on, their, on by themselves. And see, they managed to actually have the same lines for electric and gas cars at the same time. So I thought that they did a pretty good job kind of doing that. And again, talking to people who work there, seeing their excitement that they are making electric cars was was pretty cool, right? I, I kind of want to make sure that I talk to uh, some of the people who are running the factory and some people who just work there. Uh, and, and, and they are excited about this, which is important, right? Because these are the people not only going to be making these electric cars and are already, but they're the ones who hopefully will be buying them and telling their families and, and, and friends about that. So I thought it was very important. I also got to sit and, and experience firsthand uh, the uh, uh, Chevy Cruze AV. As you can see, there are no pedals or no steering wheels here. Um, didn't get a ride in one but it was just kind of cool to i've seen so in this picture so many times um 
well, I've seen the picture of this uh, Cruze V so many times. This picture I actually took myself. Uh, and just being there, it was so weird. You can go to my uh, Instagram account and, and check that out because I was like, that is so weird to sit in a driver's seat and, and not see that. Now, all of the, now there was a big deal that they've announced that they're uh, developing and, you know, and then they said they're very close with just a few years away with all of these 10 cars. Um, they've developed a platform uh, that uh, will essentially, as you can see, will have many different cars that they will design on top of that platform. Um, and, you know, there's nothing new here, right? But the fact that they're finally realizing it and doing it, I think that's a big deal. Now, I would say the least exciting, but the biggest, biggest deal that I've seen is that they're taking a, uh, they're taking a Tesla's partnership with uh, Panasonic uh, as, as sort of uh, their uh, way of uh, securing their battery supply in the future. So they partnered with LG Cam to kind of do the same thing. Um, they're developing the batteries that are gonna be using as little of this expensive uh, uh, materials as possible. And uh, they're trying to go under, you know, 100 bucks for, uh, I mean, everyone's trying to, to do that. Um, and the stats are they're trying, the batteries are gonna be anywhere from 50 to 200 uh, kilowatt hour batteries. That will, that will allow for range um, over uh, 400 miles, which is not really that impressive, right? If you think about, you know, 200 um, kilowatt hour battery, but nevertheless, we care more about the range than we care about the technology behind it. I think most people do. And zero to 60 in around three seconds. Again, that's gonna be Hummer. I don't think there's something they're gonna be putting on their Corvettes or Camaros. Uh, again, not, ex not, 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 not Tesla type of zero to 60, uh, but definitely something to, to, to get excited about if you are uh, someone who wants to get a Hummer, for example. Um, so overall, and again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I'm going to have a, a, a few of other videos about this. Overall, it was good to see a pretty decent effort by GM. It was good, you know, that they're doing this, they're showing it to us before they're even showing it to you guys. And as soon as they do, of course, I will bring it to you as well. Uh, but to me, it was great to see them uh, putting so much effort, uh, creating, you know, electric uh, SUVs and pickup trucks. You know, Escalade is also going to have a version of a, a pickup truck. And by the way, Escalade is going to have a screen that's kind of a Biton type of a screen. It's going to take the entire kind of a dashboard like that. Not as thick, but still, nevertheless, very curved. A lot of them are going to be curved in the future. In uh, in um, Think about like Mercedes, the way they, they have the screen, but they're flat, right? But, 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 uh, uh, GM cars are going to have it curved, so it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. I got to tell you, I was impressed. Again, uh, they're a few years behind Tesla, quite a few years behind. But the fact that they're doing it and they're doing it better than Honda and Toyota and Subaru and a few other brands, that is kind of exciting. They're putting th this much money. Oh man, being in Detroit, you can see how much money GM has. My goodness. So if anything, they can overtake Tesla or other uh, uh, companies. Is just by pure investment of how much money they have and can invest into this. So, all right, let me know if I was able to create the right image of a Hummer, if, uh, if that helped. Uh, let me know what you think about the GM's uh, latest effort of, uh, uh, you know, elect electrification. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.